Hello everyone, uh, my name is Alejandro and I'm going and I'm here to play a bit of Slice and Dice. Uh, the purpose of this video is to see if I can unlock this last uh, game move, which is done by finishing the game in 30 35 turns or less. So I made myself a little uh, <laughs> Excel spreadsheet just to keep a better count of this, like this is like my second video doing this and the last time I was just using a, a notebook which wasn't really, uh, you know, nice. Uh, so I'm just going to keep this on the on the right side of my screen and just so I can do this a bit faster. I made a bit of, uh, some bit of changes as well so I can notice the, as the exact moment where I've just like lost since I, mean, I ran out of turns for the following level, so for example, let's say I I spent 20 turns here, like then no matter how good I play the game in the next rounds, I'm just going to fail because this section is just going to get run out of turns. So I'm just probably going to finish my my run as soon as I get this up to this uh, failure state, and I'm just going to do this until I let's say until I get past an hour of gameplay once I do that I'll probably just let their run go as far as it needs to and I'll finish recording so without further ado I'm just going to start I'm, no I shouldn't start in the hard game mode I'm just going to go in easy mode because I the requirements for the level don't say anything about um, they don't say anything about which game mode you can play so first we need to figure out what do we want to get as a blessing so bolt is pretty good i think I'm, it's going this is going to help me get better turns on the first level so i'm just gonna go with this i think the last order squire acolyte dude Good. Okay, yeah, this is a good start. Okay, I changed my mind. The initiate, the initiate is, is not amazing. Uh, okay, I'm just going to try to see if I can use a bolt this turn. So, I'm just going to revolt to see what I can get. Can I hold or get anything better than this? Mm, I don't know. Sheesh. Okay, so I didn't I didn't get lucky this time. So here's the big first question. I mean, I'm, this is this is already going to take two rounds, so I might as well. Eh, I can settle it. I can settle the damage. I'll, I'll just try to keep my options open. Sure, this will work, okay. Sure. Let's go with that. Worst case scenario. Okay, there you go. No. No, 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 no. Okay, so yeah, this was I didn't I didn't get a good usage out of the of the spell on the first fight. So that's unfortunate. So that's a little unfortunate. Uh, talking about unfortunate, I think this upgrade is pretty bad because the collector barely has any good damage outputs other than these two, and this one is good for a level one enemy, uh, for a level one hero. But at level two, I mean, unless you're, uh, unless you're using this blade for as a finishing move, I think it's pretty terrible. I mean, the rogue improvement is pretty bad, so. I'm not going to take that. Okay. <laughs> Damn. I think I'm going to make use the squire dagger to to try to to do as much damage as I can. So here's the thing. I can kill two rats with this. But if I do this, I really need this. safe. The initiate hasn't been as, 
as good as I, I hoped in the past. I mean, at the beginning on the run, so I might as well just take this. Oh, and consume two turns. So normally, uh, spending two turns to get rid of someone isn't terrible. Uh, in fact, you're probably going to spend most of your fights in two turns if you're doing things right. But uh, so, but the thing is that if we get to do this in two turns for all fights we're going to be five turns behind our schedule so we need to try to achieve uh we need to try to achieve uh fights that are dealt with within one turn right otherwise we won't get very far mm -hmm. these improvements aren't as good as i'd want I mean, we're trying to see if we can improve our first turns, right? So, might as well make this an interesting choice. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go with this. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. This one. The cluster isn't really... Ooh, okay, okay, I think we can... Do something interesting with this, but can the last... No, he won't be able to do anything useful. Okay. So this is still... Oof, this is still a two turn fight, so we're not getting where we want to be get... Where we want to get. But let's see what can we do to improve our our chances in this challenge. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. This is a good turn for our offensive elements. And this is the same for our supporting elements. Yeah. Okay. So we can not kill all of them. Oh, this is... This is not spectacular. Okay, this got finished in two turns. I think we want to go for the fin because we really need the increased mana output if we want to be able to finish this. So this is our first mini boss. So I highly doubt we'll be able to get this finished within a, within one uh, turn. Uh, I'll try to see if I can. Sure, this is not great, but okay, this, this is perfect. Now we can do this. Can that be useful against him? Not really. Mm -hmm. That's a very slow turn number one. A very effective turn if we're not... Uh, running against the clock, but... Sad, that's sadly where we are right now, so... This guy's not being too helpful. Yes, if you ask me. Sure. We just got slapped in the face without getting any benefit out of this. Okay. Even the fiend is helping. Okay. Can we get... Yeah, this sh mm, That's useful, but is it enough? I don't think it is. I'm already spending four turns in this, into this fight. So, I think we're already on a bad spot, let's put it that way, okay. Okay. I guess we can run, make him run away in the fourth turn and move on with it, okay. So, 
this is useful for any of my guys. It could be useful for, for her. It could be freaking useful for, for him. Okay, I'm just going to make this happen. He has a bit too much health and a bit too in not enough damage to compensate for his expected offensive prowesses. Okay. Choir, can you give me a protect? There you go. That's good. So now I can destroy one, basically. Okay, so I need to cover for the damage he's going to receive. Is he going to run away? No, it's not. Fuck. Okay. I was getting a bit excited. And I will get in somewhere this, this round, but no, I didn't. Hmm. We need them. I mean, do we need the Acolytes mana? Not really. we can just make a burn. I think that's going to be useful on the long run anyways. We can get rid of this girl and <laughs> this girl of the goblin and we can just use the acolyte to heal the last. What else can we do to get rid of this on the second turn? I forgot already said. In a good position. So we're just going to do the fire and this was finished in two turns. Uh, I think we're already on our... Yeah, I think we need all the help we can get in terms of damage to get this in a decent spot. So I, uh, I guess I'm just going to do this. Else, I mean, yeah, sure, I'll take this all day. That's good enough for me. Okay, there you go. Oh, that's not enough. That's enough for sure. enough so now we can kill this guy and then we can kill this guy we did it in two turns that's good so now we're going up to the first boss fight and i think we need the juggler mostly because we need some damage output but now uh, do i want to give this to this guy or to this guy that's not enough, that's barely enough, I mean... And this guy is going to get hit by the, Ag by the Agnes, by D, by Agnes. So I don't think we can afford to stress too much damage into him, into the juggler. Oof, okay. Now I take it back, I really think we can stress. good that's really good i think i need to okay bite the bullet and just get rid of agnes so she doesn't summon any walls oh fuck yeah <laughs> i consumed the freaking collector uh okay i need some that's great okay what else can i do that's i have four mana or 
right now. Is no four mana. No, I have four damage right now, and that's not going to be enough. I need the two mana from this guy. Oof. Okay, can I get anything else? That's enough! No! But I got him killed. Sheesh. But I did it in two turns. Uh, okay. I'm in a bad spot right now. Uh, <laughs> this is a good trinket. Especially, not for the fiend, but it can be good for the acolyte. It can be good for the cleric. I'm just going to put it on the acolyte. I actually think this is a really good fight for the fiend. But... There's no but, I just, I just think it's a really good fight for Fiend. Did we finish this in round one? Ah, uh, that's amazing. Perfect. Great, that's what we're trying to achieve here. Okay, the Herbalist already has enough mana gains, but I think the Priestess is going to benefit a lot with, with this. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm just going to try this one with this guy. There's not... Oof, is it fanatic? I mean, if fanatic points on anyone, he's in, the, the person in, in turn is going to be in big trouble, like, no matter who it is. to have the mana, the, the HP. Yes, it ran away! Boy, are we doing, we're doing fantastic now. I mean, we're not doing fantastic. We're barely on the, on the average. I, I should put a, a, a row for, just to point out what's the average of these guys. I'll do it later though. Can we benefit of the, of the Ordinary Triangle? I like, I really like this one. We could if we gave the... No, we couldn't. Sheesh. I think we can't. The Heart of Light is usually very good and useful, but I don't care about it right now. I want the extra output damage. I guess I'm just going to pick it and see if I can make could use of it in the future. I mean, I could give it to the priestess, and that's going, and, and it's going to be really good anyway. But I want the damn. Oh, sheesh. Okay, I, I didn't notice who am I fighting, so I think I already screwed myself over. Okay. what I wanted to do. Can I? <sighs> that wasn't a very good idea. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, no, that was a really good turn number one. For the, I mean, considering the matchup I was having, yes, this is a, uh, a turn one that I would gladly take. Yeah, I can get rid of this. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. I can I can get rid of this. Yeah, I can finish this up with this. This is turn number two, so there you go. Fight 11 done in two turns. <laughs> we only have like four spare turns. I'm just going to do it. Can I merge these fields? 
to write that. I shall be able to write that. Just... Okay, they're not going to let me do this quickly, right? Combinar celdas. Yes! <laughs> there you go. Okay, so we can do this. And we can just count 35 minus what's here. And then we can do an average. appreciate if we could write average instead of a verga and then we can do this later <laughs> this one's going to take a bit more time and my computer is suffering a bit too much from the consumption of data that I have here I don't think the roulette is going to be good but I don't think the forsaken is any better, to be honest with you. Okay, what can what can I do to improve this? I mean, I can improve the forsaken, but here's the thing: I want the damage output, so there's no no way I can make good use of it right now. <laughs> That's perfect. I almost want to, yeah, I can, I want to lock that in, yeah, sure, mm, not the most useful of, Number one, we've we've barely played by two, twenty-two minutes, and I'm already a bit tired. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. Mm, I think I need to lock this in. That's a bit sad, but. Who is this guy trying to break up like this one? Okay, sure, whatever. Let's throw another ball and hit the bombs preemptively. So I think this is going to be more than enough. It took us three turns though, so it's not exactly ideal. Can I get the best die, please? Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I think. It took me three turns, right? I think it did. Okay, I'm just going to put three and move on with my life. I mean, I think it won't, it won't matter soon enough, like... <laughs> no, this is like three and this is one. Okay, so I still have like some leeway. Some terrible one, but... Okay. You know what? Desperate times require desperate measures or something along the lines. Oh, this is... I think I'm just gonna go for it. And hope this will give me, you know, to, I mean, getting rid of two enemies in round one should be good, right? not enough I he died for nothing no <laughs> fuck <laughs> that's like the worst scenario I could have thought of uh, I, mean, I think I can sure, whatever. Woo! one turn what did I tell you Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jesus, what am I doing? Jesus. Uh, I think the Wanderer is just going to die if I do that. So I think I'm just going to take... Oh, okay. What can I... What, what, am I, what do I want to do? I think I can't sustain this. So I'm just... Won't, I just won't. I'm just 
going to give him the triangle that's perfect but I just can't give this guy the forsaking damage that that's too much right like that's going to kill him way too, way too fast so instead I'm just going to give this to the collector which to be honest that make with that makes him a, like a really strong warrior so I'm just going to give this one a go I guess you really do need those kind of strategies if you want to stay I won't say relevant but someone who can participate in this kind of oh yeah he's immune oh no Number one. <laughs> I never expected to be using the money kill. I always thought it was a really use useless character. I guess here we are. I can heal him, but it won't matter. Two turns. Okay, that's that's fair enough. We're still within the edges of the, what's possible. Ah, that one sucks. Ooh, okay, I can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this going to be amazing. Okay, no, I can't. No, I can't do that. Or can I? <laughs> yes, I can do that. Um, let's see how well I fare with this. Stupid strategy. Please just give me anything, like at this point, just Jesus. Let's try to do this. Combine it with the yes we can with the juggler so this is going to take us two turns which in theory makes us be on the need of perfect fights from now on Starting to do. make this a bit of a challenge. Okay, there you go. Two turns, no need to kill the juggler yet. All 15, made in that in two turns. I don't think I'll be able to <laughs> spare two zero. I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere with this. Oof, these two guys suck ass. Especially with the combos I'm trying to do. But I think that the one that sucks the most is the Ludus. I mean, it, he doesn't suck, like, right? Just to be clear. But he's not good for the stupid thing I'm trying to achieve here. But I think I need to go with him. Who can benefit from this? I mean, I guess we're doing this. I mean, I, I guess this. I, I guess we can confidently say this is where the run is over. I, there's no way I'm doing this in one run. I don't have any plans for this, and I'll die. Yeah, sure. Let's go with this. Bolt, well played, and Ludo's highest draw. There you go. That's this run for me. Let's just flee. Okay, we barely made it up 
on to the 30 minutes limit so i guess we're playing another round Oof, that's a bit exhausted okay so i guess i'm just going to do this copy and paste the whole bro and then we're ready for the for the other for the other two five for the other run i'm struggling a lot with my english now. Uh, that's basically the reason why I tried to do this, but I wasn't expecting this to be as tough, basically, yeah. Like, I've seen how my previous... I work as a software developer, right? So, my previous... My most recent uh, spring calls haven't been the best. Not to say I'm not able to deliver, deliver the message that I try to deliver, but I remember how I, I was when I started working in this company like one or two years ago, right? And I just did it like a, I mean, I was more capable back then. Uh, of course, my previous job forced me to speak more often in English, right? My CEO well, sp spoke in English and, and I had a lot of co-workers that spoke in English too. And a lot of clients that made force me to speak in English on a daily basis, several hours a day, for the most part. So, yeah, it's obvious that I'm going to lose some capabilities to speak in English, but I still think it's sad. So that's why I'm trying to achieve for the hour, right? Like one hour of effort is going to. So one hour uh, of effort a day should be good, right? To to for me to improve and stop talking like a child or like a robot which i don't want to speak like a native american because i'm not but i want to be able to convey my feelings and my thoughts more properly to people out there people don't say it because they understand you're learning your second language but at the end of the day how you convey yourself uh, tells a lot of what people perceive out of you so if you speak like a child People won't mind, They're, they know you're delivering your job, but maybe they won't be able to get as excited as, get as excited about your ideas as you do if you were speaking your native language. And most of my efforts are going to be speaking with people that speak in English, so that's what I thought I wanted to improve this. I'm going to take I'm going to be starting eating an apple for the second round if that's okay with you guys. Not that you can tell me on time just that you don't like it to stop me, so I'll just do it anyways. If you guys, if you guys, if there's any of you guys uh, like listening to these videos and and you guys get to see me mumble a lot or or the apple noises become annoying or, or anything like that, please be sure to let me know. I'll take those comments to consideration. Ah, oh, that's great. I should have eaten a breakfast before this. <laughs> okay. Honestly, the ruffians is kind of good, and the scoundrel and the scoundrel is kind of terrible. Extra rerolls could help because of the scoundrel, but I think that the cleavage to the burst is going to be what we what we're interested in. So the idea is going to be to make the ruffian suicide on this twice. That's what. That's our best shot at getting this over. Okay, that's a terrible dice roll. So already out of the gate, I don't particularly love this. We're already spending two turns in, in a position where we were very capable of doing this in one. Not that we have, it's not like we have all the control of the situation, right? But this is just not ideal. I think this should be enough, but I will try to see if I can get some extra mana. Mm. 
think we need to be able to kill these two. There you go. Level one finished in two rounds. Uh, he's funny. Okay, we're taking the trapper. It's not like we'd have any much of a choice anyways. Hmm. Okay, we got the ruffians. Lucky shot. Lucky. 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 Die face. Ruffians. I think we're... I think we're good to go. I'd like to see if I can get some, mm, some some defense to protect this guy so we can avoid him dying for no reason. I, I guess we can always do this. <laughs> Done in one turn without killing the and that's good. Mm, mm, let's give him the big shield. That way we don't need to be in a condition to use it. Which honestly, I think his left side is pretty good. Like, I don't need the shield, but it's just like the best I can take out of this tree. Gets really bad at the beginning, and that's that's what you need to play with. Okay, we have the suicide uh, side for the ruffian, which we love to see, and we don't have anything else. And he's dead, so that's not fantastic. See if this doesn't become a bother. I think that one extra mana can get us. where we want. Okay, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what I think the cleave in there. The burst is so good, like it's going to be very useful for basically almost any endeavor we need to face. Okay, I guess we are already going to get rid of the shield. I don't think we need it for for this class. Well, honestly, I think it's it could be even better than this side on, on some situations, but I don't know. So this is going to be a bit of a tough. Uh, enemy for us we need to have a lot of consistent damage output in order to get through this easily and we don't have that like the ruffian only has like a his silly suicidal side of his let his let his left side of the of the dice and the trapper only it's only good at killing off his rocks. In, in a lot of trouble. I think I can reset this one. This is probably going to take me like... Five turns to get, the, to get this. So I might as well. Yeah, when we're on our fourth turn and we're barely scratching half of his health bar, that's terrible. I mean, turn four, can we get his suicidal side and I'm asking for a bit too much here. We need to slowly but surely get rid of this guy. <laughs> that's five turns. Yep. Yeah, far from ideal. We're almost like out of options. Okay, so I'd like to see. So it's going to be tough to calculate the average, the the, the average amount of turns we've done up to up until this point because that this one will need to update itself constantly to figure out the amount of. To, or the amount of levels we face, so I guess I'm just going to quit thinking about that idea or make a inefficient average calculator. Calculator that will be fun too, I guess. so much 
Keine Ahnung, ich schon. Ich bin natürlich doch cool. Auf der Kiste los. Aber ich gehe schon mal ein Wasser an, wieder vor allem. Ich hab auf so Preis. of um, rescuer this thing has been for me five two turns to clip honestly I'd rather have like a flink with three sides with mana than, than the other one huh I mean I got a bit lucky and with a bit of, I mean very lucky how do we tackle this because if I am Honestly, I'm happy with this. Mm, this would have been amazing with the other girl. I mean, amazing is a big word, but it would have been useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like. I don't want the equipment. Not now, but at least. with awful average sizes, average pips, like a lot of them have a really good side and then terrible sides that I need to get uh, to work around if I get to, to face things. Okay, so I need to get rid of aquatic and my splint because I can't. So I can't get rid of the damage output at this point. Will I die to this? I think I won't. I think this is very much. Three turns, okay. Okay, so how to jump to the druid and take this dagger. Not that I need to, but I kind of need the damage output to come from somewhere and the ruffians he's good right like good but don't take me wrong but but he can be a bit unreliable at times <laughs> in turn number one yeah, I need help. I'm dead, that's why I'm taking from this. Fair enough. Let's get this over with. I 
I've been very lucky with this park this, 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 uh, in this run. It's pretty fun. I can't just, just keep making him, making me have a useful sparky. Pretty neat. Turn number one. Three HP. Is that enough to get them to run away? Not. It's not enough. Oof. And we want to go. Yeah, we need to go balls to the walls. I think I can get through this. Well, it's gonna be so annoying to, to do so. It's gonna be very annoying to get through. Okay, that's that's better. Two turns. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I got tired of speaking, dude. Like I just went silent out of nowhere. But I'm sorry, I got a bit tired. Um, let's move on with this. Okay, I guess I'm gonna take the warlock. Spark is pretty good, but I think we need some consistency. So as soon as I don't do. This thing just come to go. I guess that's the game. That's the run. Okay. Honestly? How the fuck did I get? It 
it's just clay invisible. How how are you getting as much? Oh, the bones. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, it's a bit of a shame, right? Like, I've never done this kind of amazingly quick turns, and now that I am, like, uh, they're not being enough. I guess this 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 pushes you to. I mean, I, I won't say I'm improving because a lot of these are very dangerous decisions in order to like. I think it's going. It's easier for you to lose in this under these conditions than to, than to survive. But it's it's fun to see them like work on under certain circumstances, right? Like at the end of the day, this challenge is forcing me to play a bit of a different game. And. Well, I don't know. Experience new things. I guess, let's see what we can get this. Plus two item quality, I think this can be good. Oh, what's the... What the fuck is this? Okay, uh... I mean, whatever, it's useful. But I guess I'll miss the clip. <laughs> The, the clip first. That was a really good one. I think this is not going to be good enough for the next X amount of fights. Okay, this is your average your average fight. Let's go back to the beginning and just remove one of those extra turns. Why am I doing here? Am I doing the math properly? Okay, yeah, that's proper. This prince not exactly better than the cleric, but she can do the same things and more. And for the benefit of what we're trying to achieve, like we don't really need to have consistent Persistent dices, right? Like, we're just meant to be here for a couple of rounds, and that's about it. There you go. Now we got something we're interested in. And what can we do to improve this? Can we get rid of everyone on the first team turn? I guess we can. That's exciting to see. Yeah, and we wouldn't, we wouldn't have been able to achieve that with the new upgraded. Girl, right? Girl, so that's that's good. Let's see if we get anything good out of this because I think this is a bit of this is a bit useless. Let's see. I guess I shouldn't speak about useless things as quick as I did. Okay, this should be useful to some degree. Let's see if it doesn't kill my student. Okay, how can I manage this? Hi. Hmm. I'm starting to like that that, that thing. Hmm. Hmm. So I think we can do. The same trick we did before, and we can get rid and we can get rid of all the rats on turn number one. Now we just need to do a lot of damage, and we have four out of those six pips already. I think that's enough. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got the level three done under under the two turns. That's good. We're on the onto the fourth fight. Oof, that's a bit of a tough one because the vampire does two damage and that's good, but it's a bit that she's a bit more reliable, right? And so is this point. I think she won't last very long against the troll. Whether I like it or not, I don't have enough 
sustain damage to kill him with this point. I think I almost want to get rid of this too. Too much of a risk against a troll. Let's see if my thoughts pay off. Okay, I mean, I'm doing six damage now. That's good. <laughs> I, did I say six? I want to say eight. That's good. That's good. I think we can... I mean, we are capable of getting this done in the first two rounds, but are we going to? Sheesh, I barely did any damage with the, with the thief now. Uh, that's not great. Okay, let's just pick this one already and... Okay. <laughs> We're going to need to jump into the third round, I think. Yep. That's not excellent, but to be honest, trolls are that tough. So let's just take the double kill and move forward. Three turns? Yes, three turns. Mm -hmm. The two right sides. Do I benefit with anyone with this? Not really. I mean, it's pretty shit. I mean, that's that means I'll, I'll get to have three good dice and three terrible ones. I mean, that, I don't mind that bad I mean I could go with this too but it's going to be worth a bit more sad if I get to find and land on the zero mana side right so the vampire is proving her worth pretty quickly I think I'm just going to save the mana for the guy, for, put the shells on the on the orange dude, just for the sake of keeping his output damage. <laughs> That's good. I think we're done here. There we go. Two rounds, right? Yep. That's as good as it can get. I mean, I'm averaging at two at this point, right? Like, that's a bit sad because I got a really good uh, fight at level two, but that's got offset by the troll. I mean, whatever. You can't have it all. So. <laughs> I guess I'll just pick the dagger because I can get a bit of damage output that way. Am I getting damage output? That's the big question here. Shit. Oh, it's a plus two minus two. I mean, not the dagger is fun now, but yeah, not the dagger is good. I mean, good. As far as a dagger can be. As good as a dagger can be, I guess. I guess I can kill the Slimer. <laughs> I can kill more than the Slimer now. <laughs> well, yeah, I can only kill the Slimer, which is good. Two turns. Fairly good. That's fairly good. Let's try to see if we can get a bit more lucky now. I think we need... I mean, we got lucky, but we didn't get... Okay, <laughs> we didn't get as lucky as I was saying we got, but... I think we want her to get hit. 
not there for us to be able to get the deed done later down the road. So I think this one's a good setup for the next rescue if I get this. And she's a good setup too, so let's see what we can do. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Hmm. Will, I be, will I be able to get this? Well, I think I won't. But hey, I got the four mana. That was in two turns because I played up under damage. I was forgetting about what I was doing or what was happening on my mind. Oh, okay, we reached the one hour mark. So as soon as I see this is unbeatable, I'm just going to move on and end the video. Okay, I need to be more talkative because that's the whole purpose of me doing this. So let's do just that. Okay, I got a bit of life stealing for the vampire. I think I'm trying to see if I can get the same result with the tavern and the rescue dice, but I don't know if I want to uh, win another reroll and see if I can get it. That's a bit too dangerous. <laughs> Let's do it. Whatever. Okay, that's good. That's good because that means that if I get to kill this enemy, I can get to. Uh, do damage twice and that will lead me to be more efficient with the damage output okay that's good that's two turns best case scenario and we hit did I, then, we, did I not get anything with the evoker that's sad wow okay Okay, I'm, I'm getting lucky now. Evoker, can you do anything? Jesus bendito! Oh, yes. <clears throat> For those who you that don't speak Spanish, that just means God blesses you, little summer, sweet summer child, or something along those lines. this and this is going to be a three turns fight yes it will be i was hoping for her to retreat that's a bit sad let's put this into the tree i mean we're almost done right like there's just a limit of how many fights you can have under these conditions we move on up to the ninth fight okay there you go ocular amulet plus one to the left side okay Lens gives focus to self heal sites. So, hmm. I mean, I could use the lens to get plus four damage if I get the focus, or I could just do the plus one to this. Would I want to do that? I mean, I'm, that feels like I'm betting a bit too much on this guy. Uh, which, to be honest, I think that you need to do it because that's the whole premise of being able to kill everyone in one turn so I guess that's what I'm that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to risk everything for just a fun one turn sleep that's the quietest I mean I was going to the quietest in the first place but I just I was just curious about what I was getting that's a good die I says for the 
nice nice tie face for the fighter let's see if we can get any luck here with anything else and it, we did not get ah lucky now jesus give it a cruise that's unfortunate I mean, we got rid of two enemies and he's just going to summon. I guess that's better, right? Because getting rid of two enemies and then seeing someone summon one back again, it's no better than just getting rid of one enemy and keeping two mana. Did I, was I going to keep two mana with the previous attempt? I don't know. I mean... I guess we can just get rid of all of these enemies that way too. Give me the blessed side, Jesus. <clears throat> okay. We didn't get lucky again. Uh, this is going to be a three turn fight, I guess. Is it? It's, it's not going to. We got lucky there. We still have to deal with five more fights. I think we can still do this. I guess I'm just going to put the shoulder into this one. That's good. I mean, honestly, that's pretty good. But uh, I just didn't want to use it before. I'm just going to put this in. Give, put this into the evoker. Might as well make him be useful for something. He's being a bit of a bummer up until this point. Or I'm just focusing on the times that where he's not contributing anything at all. Maybe, probably. Can I get to kill this fuck? There you go. That's what I was trying to do. So now we can choose this entire fight in one turn. Well, I lied. We cannot get to cheese him. Yes, we can. I was lying. We can totally choose him. Oh, man. There you go. Fighting 11. Cheese. Wee. Wee. That's pretty good. We need to go with this one, right? Like, of course we need to go with this one. <laughs> 9, 6, and 3 damage. That's exactly what we need to do. We couldn't even put the rescue to this guy. That's six damage. We're going to take this. That's two damage. That's so low compared to the other one. I can we chase this further? That's so sad. Okay, we're going to get rid of this guy. First round. And he's going to heal him. He's going to heal himself, there you go. and the Whis is going to heal himself, and now the Evoker is going to end his life. Okay, perfect. Okay, moving forward. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty so far. So I'm just going to jump in. The evoker does not more damage than the dabbler at this point. Yes. That's exactly what I want to do now. And since in this situation now, I think I just want to jet. That's what going that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, perfect. That's perfect. That's just brilliant. <laughs> I'm just scratching a little bit too much. Let's go forward and see if we can get anything though. Any of the things that I'm planning for. Okay, that's good. That's a good setup for the first rescue. And honestly, I think I'm just going to go with this reroll. Oh, that's not good. Can we get to do some damage, please? Oh, Jesus, he's just going to die. No, he's setting himself up for another rescue. <laughs> that's perfect. 
Ready to go, that's one rescue, that's another rescue. And I think that's GG's for the for the boss at level 12, right? That's four, six, that's four, that's two. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> that felt pretty good. Fight number 13. Plus two to the right side or copy the other equipped side. I mean, could be good. But I think it doesn't work. I think it's bugged or, or something along those lines. Uh, it freaking sucks for what we have. You know what? I just won't complain about this. This was really, really good. I'm just going to try this out and see if I don't kill myself in the process. Ooh, looks like I will kill myself in the process, though. but let's let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. The vampire is, is dead. She's not dead. Okay, let's try to see if we can do some decent amount of damage. Try to fight off the spike. I think I went overboard with the damage, and I think that's great because that means I can do a lot of damage. But how much time did I spend on this world? Ah, oh, yeah, that's the battle that I chased. Okay, we're, we're good. We're on a good track. I just need to do damage one more, one more time. There we go. Two turns. <sighs> My character has just been resilient to, <laughs> to, to I mean this round has been very resilient to to failure. Okay. What can I do with this? I don't want any of this honestly. I mean Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Is he that? No. What? What did I do? This is like a. How can I put this into pretty words? This is a terrible final upgrade for the role. But let's see if this can be of some use. I mean, he has a lot of HP, so maybe it's a good offset. Or maybe I just screwed myself over. Okay, let's go. Fight 14. It's a good start. No, 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 I'm not going to lie. That's uh, terrible! Turn number two. Oh, I could even go for the overkill for one of the ogres, right? Because this one does nine damage, of course he can do. I think I'm just going to go for this and that can... I, I should be able to ensure that... I mean... Yeah, there you go. I'm glad I was... Um, how can I put this? Uh, I, I'm glad I saw through that possibility. Let's go with that. We should be able to get this in two, in two turns. So let's go with this. We should be able to do the, the necessary damage that way. We should be able to. We can do the necessary damage, can we? Yeah, we should. We're good to go. Round 15. Okay, so I just have two spare turns to face, and I think this is one of those situations where you just won't be able to get any of that. Plus one, plus four to all the plus four. So this could be really good for the vampire. It could be good for... 
<laughs> just one thing. So this can like let you share the trinkets of value five through seven. So the hammer, the sharp wood is going to be shared. The ambrose is going to be shared. The pauldron is going to be shared. There's a lot of good trinkets that can that are going to be shared. Oh, the Akular Amulet is going to be shared. I need to take this. I don't even know how I'm going to make use of this, but I know I am. Okay, let's do this. Might as well have two amazing sites instead of one. We're already getting more rerolls with this anyways. <laughs> and now I have two of these. Oh, that's, that's good. I'm not even going to... Ooh, that's really good. Oh, so I do get 12 damage with this, and I do get 10 damage with this. So it gets recycled here. Oh, I mean, I would even argue that the vampire is an even ber better version of the walker now. But I think it's a very similar concept. Mm. So we have three characters now where we are betting everything on being able to face to get the two good sizes that we like, right? So the evoker is really can be very useful with the with the sword with that does six damage. But if we use the sword that does nine damage, that's amazing. And the same goes for the vampire with his 5 damage self heal and the 12 damage rescue on his left side. The the gladiator isn't as good, he isn't as exciting, but we can still do 3 engage damage with the left side, which basically duplicates the damage output on, people, on enemies with full HP. We can kill almost everything uh, that is on the right side of the enemy list now. And I mean, we can still do 4 damage self shield, which isn't amazing, but it's a lot of damage, right? I would uh, I mean, maybe it's even better than the vampire's uh, self heal, but I'm not sure. And honestly, the this guy, he's awful. But I think this is going. To, this is making. This is giving me extra chances to make the other three guys shine. So I think he might be worth for, just for that. I could even go with the statulette and just keep him on 19 HP and go overkill with that but i think i'd rather have some sort of extra damage if i had another uh trinket that made me have like more rerolls faces in the dice i'll probably go with that because that make me be sure that this other three guys will be good okay without further ado let's try to get this level finished so this, those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 enemies and we have 2 enemies perfect, perfect, perfect now we can lock this in for the, for the evoker I think that's enough for us to be able to rescue so we can hit 3 times with this guy, so that's good we could, we could use the paladin to get rid of one of these guys and we can use the gladiator to get rid of the other guy, so that's Three hits, four, five, four hits, five hits now. All we need to be sure is that the rogue doesn't do three damage on the ghost, which is completely luck based. But there you go. Maybe we, we could even uh, try to put him below. I mean, honestly, I think I just need to. Yeah, let's go with this and let's see if the vampire gets anything good he didn't but that's a bit of a shame but that's still good enough i think there you go we rescued someone now we can do this again and we rescued someone else then we can do this and we killed someone just straight up then we can do this hit and we rescued someone else if the vampire had hit the 12 damage rescue this would have been a one round which is amazing we're already on level 15, this isn't easy. <laughs> or we do need to be very lucky, right? 
he ran away, we did it! Oh my god, okay, that's great. Ooh, that's... that's awful. That's completely awful. But... But, is it awful? Is it really awful? We could have, like, 6 damage mana gain, 3 damage, 6 damage, and 2 heal. The other alternative would be him being 3 damage. This is awful. That's really sad. We can make him be the one with the rescue. It's from left to right. That's that's so bullshit. So we need to be like this. Needs to be like this in order for this to work. Is the plus one? That's nine. That's a complete shame. So now we're not able to do the rescue, so he just got worse. I mean, we have more rerolls, which is never going to be bad, but sheesh, I would price if we get these rerolls. Hmm, I think this can work. Let's see if we can get lucky enough. So the sorcerer became a character that barely. Yeah, so the sorcerer is now... So he just now... Okay, let's just focus on for a bit. So he now is able to do a lot of decent damage uh, on almost any side... on any... Uh, on almost any... Uh, side of the dice. So that's good, but we lost the ability of being able to... Jesus. We lost the ability of being able to kill and rescue which is to be fair we can't do that as much anyways so i think it could be this could be a good solution i think this can be this could work the rocker and the sorcerer are doing a, a really nice tag team for all that we can see and this is still round one i mean we're getting rid of everything I think this could be a, a master. I mean, I initially thought I, I, I messed up, but I think now that this could be a really good thing for us. We still have four rerolls and we still have like 15 HP left, so he can do four plus nine. That's 13. Plus six. Yeah, we can kill him already. Come on, dude. Stop. Stop being like a fucking clown. Yeah, there you go. Round one. I can't believe how many of these guys we've cheesed up, up until now. Did we really cheese level 15? I guess I'll have to rewatch this later on. We're almost one hour and 30 minutes. I really thought this was going to end so much earlier. Oh god. Okay. What do we get here? Thanks. Add invigorate to the top and bottom size. This is the first time I see this uh, trinket. Plus one for each HP you gain this turn. That's that's really that's really good, right? I mean, ah, this one's really good, but. I'm playing a mana list run basically, right? So I can't bet on that. Damn 
this could be good. But I don't think I have any way for to get chicken. I just want to look to look for another thing. That's the best I can do. That's a bit sad. That's good enough to me. I'm just gonna give him something to to expect. Yeah, this could be good. This could be good. Okay, let's try to see if we can get rid of this. So what's the idea here? I mean, this one's probably going to be something we want to. Um, let's see. Can I get some extra HP with? I really want the damage output. Uh, I only get three extra HP. What the fuck? Why? Why do I lose the arm? Oh. Okay, right. Honestly, I think this could be good. We're going to be doing a lot of rerolls and we're going to call for the guy from to not die. So yes, I think this is a good set. If we get six, if we get five rerolls with from this guy, that, that's already more than amazing. What can this guy do? Can he do anything interesting? I think we need to wait for that. White dice. Okay, she got her thing. That's what we're trying to get at. Okay, we got two extra rewards. That's fantastic. We really need those rewards to start appearing. Please. <laughs> there you go. Can we get rid of the rest? Okay, six plus four is ten plus nine. That's 19. Yeah, we can get rid of them. Okay. That's another cheese. There we go. We're almost there. Uh, I can't believe that this dumb bass run is going to be the one that makes me get things done. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. Profit. What can the profit do for me? Not a lot of things, I believe. I think... Oh, I can't believe this. I think we really need the the, the useless... Uh, the useless healer. Because she has three mana. We could go with, the, with Fate. Fate will be an amazing pick. Or the Forsaken. Forsaken is good. The Wraith could be of use, but I don't think she's great. The Witch could do us a good... Uh, I think the Witch is almost, if not better than the, than the Forsaken. I think I have like three good or four potential good sides, so I don't... So that means I don't want to pick her, but... What does the Wanderer do for us? Not a whole lot. He freaking... I think he's... Honestly, I think he's the worst pick I could have gotten. Considering we tried to beat everything in the least amount of turns. But let's see. We're already getting the same thing that we're getting from the Wanderer. We're getting two extra HP. Do I want to skip this? Okay, let's see if the Prophet completely breaks our build. Let's start doing some... S I don't want to do that. Uh, yes, because we're already using the ocular amulet to get plus one. That's for, that's the biggest reason why we're getting plus nine damage rescue. If we go to the prophet, we're going to do plus six damage. And we're not going to have the rescue. I think we need to go wanderer. I 
going to go wanderer and if he sucks if he sucks to the point of being useless I can make him the 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 reroll trinket Yeah, I can make him a 15 HP reroll trinket lord or something stupid like that. Whatever gets the food onto the I think I need to do that because these two, these two sites are freaking are freaking useless. Shh, I can't believe this. Okay. Too much. Okay, too much of a sad thing to figure out. Can I do this? <laughs> but I lose the damage, right? Yeah. Because I think that this... I mean, I get 6 damage rescue and I get 9 damage country rescue here. So which one do I prefer? Let's go with this one. This one looks more fun. Anyways, Honestly, I think I'm going to go with this one because that way I can do that. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that way I can do... I'm going to end up doing cantrip cleave damage and that's amazing. And I have a lot of HP, so even if I get cantrip pain, that won't matter. Okay, let's see if I don't completely kill myself with this. I'm overanalyzing things at this point because I... I don't know, I think it's fun to play with this. Okay. What can I do now? I think I'm just going to do a reroll and hope I don't kill myself. How much damage does this do? Six damage. I have seven damage. I can I can take it. Can I take another one of those though? That's the big I mean I can! I completely I can control it. I totally can. one right so I guess we'll... the big question is did I finish this on turn one yes I did <laughs> hold on we're gonna go. god damn it this is starting to get exciting okay I mean it's been a starting for a good while from now on right like but this is a really uh good let's let's put it that way Ooh, okay that's that's not great uh, so how can i put this i think i need to go with this one i'm not I'm, i might not rescue you but i I'm definitely going to kill you, right? Like, that's just... We're not questioning that. Like, that's a lot of... Yeah, this is going to be fantastic for her. And I'm just going to put the, the shield cleanse rescue to this guy. And that's going to be a good enough position for him. 
we're giving up on the rescue. But honestly, the cantrips is being the, the real game changer here. So yeah, let's go with that. I don't even know how to do that. And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to figure that out. Okay, we just have two more rerolls. We just have one more reroll. Is this? He ran away. We have three turns to get rid of this little piece of shit. Sheesh. Okay, let's think this through. Let's think this through. This can be the very difference between. I think this is straightforward. I'm getting four plus four mana with this one. Let's go with this. I think I can do this. Ooh. Doesn't even show up in the graph. That's amazing. So I can get to do 15 damage cliff and she has 40 damage. So I have three turns to cheese this. I have someone who can almost immediately get rid of half of his HP. And I have a country lord. Okay, I think we can do this with this one. This has been a really long session, but I think we can get this through today. Or not. I mean, this is all depending on luck, honestly. So, I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. I'm going to do this. I think this is the best the Wanderer can do anyways. No, I need to... I really need to... To bet on the... I mean, that's 5 damage. Should I secure... Nah, we need to bet this. I, am, I think I almost... I also want to do the plus 4 damage with the Paladin. No, we didn't get any... I mean, we got the same result. I mean, this is still 2 turns. This is still... And we're not losing anyone yet, and we still have one turn. I think this is it. <sighs> oh my god, this is a play. What an exhausting session, dude. That's it, that's the game. That's GG. We did it within 38 turns. Okay, people escaping. Ah, that's a shame. People escaping probably count as an extra turn. Or we're not counting things properly because uh, that's a bit of a bummer. I mean, it was a fun run, but I guess I need to be, I need to check the forms or something just to be sure what's making me get more tunes than usually expected. Okay. we're. We are past the first hour that we defined, and so we're going to end it here. Bye.